Welcome back to Software Development Lifecycle Course. In this lecture, we are going to start our JUnit test, and we will start with the configurations first. So if you go to your consumer class and open up your application config XML, we're going to copy a lot of this and put it into our same file in the producer project. So go ahead and let's go to the top here. Let's copy just about everything. And let's delete this consumer listener. And we're going to add our producer or our producer controller. Okay. And let's change this default destination here. Then we'll close these out. And we'll start writing our JUnit test. We're going to source test Java. And right click, new. Java JUnit and JUnit test case. And we'll call our producer controller test. And our package will be mirrored to, uh, mirror to the producer controller. Actually, let me go find that real quick so I don't mess this up. There we go. And we browse for the class under test. And next. And we're going to test both these methods. And finish. Okay, let's go ahead and add the classes we'll need. And we'll need a person object, a model object, our producer controller, and then our application context to bring in our application hyphen config file. Actually, it's a vendor object. Okay, let's get to our setup. And we'll set up our class path XML application context. There it is. And again, we put the path for our spring application hyphen config file in there. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and assign our producer controller to that beam.
Okay, so our test is initially configured, and then we can finish it out in the next session. So on to the next lecture.